Hi everybody, it's Leaf and welcome to another video. A few days ago, Sandrock's first big update went live. A bit delayed, but not a lot, only three days, not a problem. Okay, so what did we get in this update? Well, a rather decent chunk of the main plot, three new characters, two new locations, new enemies and a few full-sized missions, as well as some side quests, personal quests, some new romance options and a new holiday. On top of that, the loading times have been greatly reduced, which is awesome. Plus, they added a huge amount of building options and decorations for the workshop, not to mention a significant increase of space for potential expansion. I didn't really try it out because I can't build to save my life, but I'm glad it's there for those who can. I also noticed that some characters seem to have different voices, like Mort, and some have different faces, although for the life of me, especially in some cases, I cannot understand why. Anyway, one of the big parts of the update was turning Dr. Fang into a real character. Previously he was basically a non-entity with only one quest that went nowhere and no social interactions to speak of. We were able, with some difficulty, to befriend him a little, mostly using his pet raven as a stepping stone. Recently I made a whole video about what I thought Fang's deal was, but after the update, I am pretty sure I was mostly wrong. Now, before we go any further, this video contains spoilers. You have been warned. Okay, now let's jump right into today's topic. Oh boy. One thing has to be said, the devs did not disappoint, and our good doctor actually received quite a bit of backstory. And it's not a happy one. Of course, no one expected this to be sunshine and rainbows, but still, what unfolds before our eyes here is pretty grim. So, initially, Fang appears to be distant and even arrogant. Then it becomes rather clear that he has some social issues. I thought he might just be a workaholic fixated on one specific idea, and this can still be the case, although I doubt it, but if it is, it's not related to Fang's behavior. Some of you pointed out in the comments that he could be autistic, and yes, it's likely. But to be honest, PTSD works just as well. But following the good old tradition of when it rains it pours, we can easily ask, why not both? I say someone put this guy in front of a pinball machine. Anyway, we do learn that Fang is actually severely traumatized. As a child, he witnessed the death of his mother, Possibly he was put in an orphanage or some such, he was bullied and probably forcefully separated from his only friend, X. And that's most likely only the tip of the iceberg. After all that tragedy, he actually stopped speaking for a long time. Then he probably ran away, somehow got to Sandrock, where he buried some things, probably his mother's belongings, in an empty grave, which he visits every Sunday. Heavy. Until this very day he has nightmares, strong aversion to violence, and has abandonment and trust issues. And on top of everything else, he himself suffers from a weird cold sickness, which may be a somatic symptom of his PTSD with his body, possibly, replaying one of his traumatic experiences. At least that would explain why he wears that coat all the time, even in summer, which always made me wonder. The unpleasant thing is that to learn about some of Fang's past experiences, we have to willingly do something really nasty. To win Fang's friendship, Arvio, because who else, comes up with the plan to stage X's kidnapping and earn some brownie points by faking a rescue operation. Honestly, even if his heart is kinda in the right place, his brain definitely isn't, and empathy is clearly something that happens to other people. We are allowed to refuse, but then we miss out on a couple of important details, and on top of that, it seems that this particular branch of the quest is a bit buggy. Technically, all the paths should lead to one goal, Fang opening up to the idea of receiving gifts. But refusing to participate in the plan, which was obviously my first choice, got me stuck for days with nothing. If it's not a bug, then either I didn't wait long enough, or it needs rewriting, because I refuse to be punished for being a decent person. In any case, Fang is obviously a tragic character. I was kinda hoping for a case of defrosting rather than healing the wounds, but that also works, I guess. Apart from that, Fang is also incredibly tropey. Even the most superficial description of him can be done entirely by using tropes. Here we go. A frontier doctor who is also a tall, dark and handsome, long-haired pretty boy with a cool pet. What about his personality then? Well, 
At first glance, he's a quiet hermit with mysterious past and no social skills. Then we learn that his emotionless expression hides a sea of hurt caused by his dark and troubled past, and though he gets triggered sometimes, he tries to find safety in indifference and hopes to never be hurt again. According to Mort, he is a loner with a heart of gold. He also clearly misses his mother, and we can absolutely expect a mental health recovery arc. Besides, healing him with the amazing power of friendship and trust, additionally aided by some home cooking, is already an important part of his story. It's also clear that as a romantic partner, he will be initially totally oblivious and slash or he will try to avoid this kind of relationship due to fear of being hurt. Okay, I had way too much fun with this. To be completely fair, Literally anything can be described using tropes, but this particular set, with slight variations, is incredibly popular in Asian entertainment. The entire story arc with him being sick is taken straight out of a Chinese romantic drama, including feeding him bitter liquid medicine and falling asleep by his bedside. I mean, it doesn't only happen in Chinese romantic dramas, but they seem to add their own special flavoring to it, and this feels exactly like it. Besides, it's a Chinese game. At this point, if we don't get the accidental kiss scene, I will be almost disappointed. Okay, I won't, because accidental kisses are infamously overused, cringy and physically impossible. Anyway, Fang is Mr. Fan Service, designed with surgical precision for players with rampant compassion and caring instincts. He is beautiful, lonely, broken and hurt. Heal him. You know you want to. Of course, I can appreciate a story like that, and of course I want my character to help him, but if the mama drama keeps popping up in the relationship arc, in other words, if he keeps comparing the player character to his mother, which he does, we may have a problem, because getting an adult child instead of a partner is not exactly relationship goals in my book. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, he is not romanceable yet but we can already pave our way towards it by using multiple romantic dialogue options. And I have to say that the amount of them actually surprised me. Okay, so there, I am very curious as to where Fang's story leads and I truly hope he can one day be free from his traumas and move on, because otherwise it won't work. So, what are your thoughts? What do you think about how Fang's story is progressing? What do you think about the update in general? If you like, please leave a comment and that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Take care.